Hello. <coughs> this is Blake Canaram, the woodworker, and today I'm just going to be making a disc sander that will take. Oh, what is this? Sorry about the fan. I have. That's the fan that I showed in my last update video. And I need this power switch pointer. These are, looks like, s seven inch discs. Just disc sandpapers just peel off and stick on. And I have this piece of plywood, three quarter inch plywood, that I've traced out. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that out with my jigsaw. Watch this whole video before you make your own. Because I don't know if it will work out or not. Here's that piece of plywood that I traced out. Now I'm just going to cut that out. I'm not going to take video of this because it will take a while. And like it, it, I don't need to record it. Okay. So I got my um, disc cut out. And that will fit for this disc. I just want to say if you ever want to get an iPod for taking video... I wouldn't recommend an iPod 5 because their battery life and their battery length is not very good at all. I have, I have plugged it right now. <clears throat> and it was like at three quarters battery. And I took 50 seconds of bit 50 seconds of video and it says 20%. Anyway, so I have this cut out so this will fit. And now what I'm thinking is I have an electric motor that I will Stop the video and get. So I have this electric motor. I'm gonna try to get a Forstner bit that makes a snug fit. Maybe one undersized. I'm gonna test this on a piece of wood. And I need to get this in exactly the center. And I don't know how I'm going to get the center of it. I think I can just like. measure it out. I think seven. Just take that left and ahead. So I'll get that figured out and get the center and find a bit that will fit. Okay, so I got the center marked, which is about three and a half um, inches in on all sides. And now I have to find that bit, which I thought was this one right here. So I'm going to put this in the drill press and do some practice holes. Okay, so I kind of went ahead. I got excited and forgot to take a video. <laughs> but um, what I'm doing here is I got a little block on the back. I drilled a hole that fits pretty snug and I'm going to have a set screw anyways. Um, I drilled the hole right here for the set screw that goes in this hole. Let's see. If can't really get the camera in because it's plugged in. I'll try to move it a little bit. Okay, right there. So, oh, just keep the camera. So I got a hole in here for the set screw, and I got two holes here for how many inch, two inch and a quarter screws to set or screw this on put in place. And I pre-drilled and just split out a little bit. Yep, that just broke, so this isn't going to work. So I'm going to have to make a new one and do the same thing. And maybe try some different screws. So I'm just going to cut out another piece out of this piece that I had on the bandsaw, just a little smaller. Okay, so I made this one bigger. The screws are going to go here, and the set screw will go in here. I'll probably just use the same inch and a quarter screw. Probably it'll stick out a little bit, but that'll be okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to center this in here. You can use a drill bit, but since it's a Forstner bit, it doesn't really help you center it as much. And I sunk, counter sunk this one even more. And also what's different on this one is the grain is running this way and not this way to where it would split out. So that helps a lot. So I think this one will work just fine.
Hopefully they don't stick out. No, nope. they don't stick out very much. They were close. Okay, now I'm going to drill the hole in the side, which I forgot, but it will still work. Okay, that's all the way through. Now I can just test this. I'm going to take some bigger screws. Here, these are like really big screws. But I'm just going to take these big screws like this and screw this motor down to my bench. I love that sound. Okay, that's fast down very tight. Now I'm going to slide this over this motor spindle or what, I don't know what you call this. But it has a flat spot so that's perfect for where I want my set screw. I'll slide this on. Just tap it. Actually, I think I'm going to slide it. You can't quite get it on very easily or very... You can just tap it with your hand or a mallet. This works perfect. Now I'm going to take my set screw and I'm going to flatten it on the belt seam so it gets it doesn't slip so now you can see this is flat at the point so it doesn't slip on that flat part I think it'll work. It's a little off balance, but I think it's close enough. Let's do the, the official test, which I'm going to use an extension cord because this, um, one second. Because the cord right here on the motor. Just this, it's not very long. It works. I don't think it's coming off. It has quite a bit of wobble to it. I don't know where it quite wobbles at, but it definitely has wobble. Yes, it needs to be. You can just tap it until you get that wobble out. That looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to tighten this set screw even more. I think right now I'm actually going to drill a hole on the other side just to put another set screw. Help this one, I'm not going to flatten. That is, looks like it's. I'm going to plug it back in again and see what, if it's any better. Yes, it is a lot better. That should stay on pretty good. I don't know if you can see the wobble, but. It's pretty good. I'm just going to take my sandpaper, this is, and stick it on. And I think I'm going to make a little table base, which would be pretty cool for it. Let's just peel off. It's very sticky. This is, doesn't say on the back. 
I'm g I think it's 60 grit. Just center it best you can. And just press it on. Don't rub your hand, just start sanding your hand. Okay, I'm going to plug it in again. We'll do the, the test of sanding something. Looks like it works pretty good. Now this is going, just rotating this way. Works good. It's just a little wobbly. This side work good when I have a table on there. It's a little wobbly as you can hear it probably. But yeah. See it spins this way. Like that. Yeah, you can tell it's not because see how it's just sanded on one. You can't see that. Barely. I don't really have good lighting right here. There you can see this is sanded here and not here, so that means it is wobbling. And only sanding on half of it. But it will still be pretty good. I have a few disc sanders, but it's hard to get at, and I wanted to experiment with making my own. I seen Adam Collins, I think is how you say his name, his YouTube channel. And I wanted to try making my own. Um so I'll probably try to get like take this piece of wood. And cut it, cut just so I'll put a, make a base like this right next to it. That will help for sanding and everything. So I'll probably try to get at that. But thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.